Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Monday so it is meal prep day. I have three amazing recipes for you. Two of them require zero cooking which is perfect as we move into the hotter months. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because we do a meal prep every single Monday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find my recipe website. That is where you can find today's recipes as well as nutrition coaching. Highly, highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive, we would love to have you. Also, I did put a couple of posts in the community tab here on YouTube and on my Facebook group about some amazing Memorial Day sales. They do end today, so definitely check those out. Some of my favorite brands are having such fantastic sales. So again, everything is under the community tab here on YouTube or on my Facebook group. So let's head into the kitchen for meal prep. For my breakfast this week, I'm making high protein overnight oats. It is going to be 100 degrees this week and I want a cold breakfast that is packed with protein, healthy carbs, and fat. So let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need rolled oats, sliced almonds, milk of your choice. I'm using Fairlife for the added protein. Any berries that you want to use. So I actually have blackberries and I have some strawberries. So I'm going to do a mix of both. Yogurt of your choice as well. I have this Too Good Vanilla Yogurt, and last but not least, some chia seeds. So the first thing we're going to do for our overnight oats is you'll need a bowl, and then I have my food scale because I'm going to weigh out my yogurt. The recipe calls for six ounces per overnight oats. I'm going to make three overnight oats, so I want 18 ounces of my yogurt. So I'm going to add that to my bowl until I have 18 ounces, which by the way is about, th is three of the small containers. All right, so there's 18 ounces of yogurt. Again, you can use the little small containers and you'll need three of them. And then we're adding one and a half cups of rolled oats. So basically half of a cup per overnight oat, three quarters of a cup of milk, and then three tablespoons of chia seeds, one tablespoon per overnight oats. And then go ahead and mix all of that together. We're going to set this aside and allow it to thicken for five minutes. We're going to add some berries. Then we're going to add more yogurt mixture, kind of layering that up. A little bit more fruit. And then our sliced almonds. Again, an eighth of a cup per jar. And then you'll pop a lid on, throw it in your refrigerator for perfect overnight oats. Let's go ahead and make up two more jars. So here are the overnight oats. Don't these look amazing? Again, topped with those almonds, that's going to give you some healthy fat. Fruit for carbs with fiber, tons and tons of protein. Love the inclusion of the chia seeds. That's going to make it like a chia pudding consistency. This is going to be an amazing breakfast. So let me go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For my lunch this week, I'm making honey chipotle meatballs. We're going to pair that with some cilantro lime rice. So let me show you what you'll need. So first you're going to need a pound of ground turkey. I have 93.7, you could use 99%. If you follow Weight Watchers, that's zero points. I like the 93 just a little bit better. So I'm going to do that. I'm subbing hot honey for regular honey because this recipe actually calls for quite a bit of spicy components like chipotle and adobo. And I don't really like super spicy. So I think by subbing regular honey for hot honey, I'm going to get that just teeny bit of spice which is perfect for me. You'll also need some chicken broth, breadcrumbs, Worcestershire sauce, cornstarch, salt and pepper, lime juice, a red onion, a bell pepper, a fresh lime, fresh cilantro, an egg, and then of course some rice. So I have one cook of 
one cup of uncooked rice with two cups of water in my dash rice cooker. So simple, it makes perfect rice every time. I bought this on Amazon, I'll link it for you. So let's jump in to this lunch. So to get started on the meatballs, I'm adding my one pound of ground turkey to a bowl. We're going to add half of a cup of breadcrumbs, one egg, and about a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. And then I'm going to go in with my hands, mix this all together, form them into meatballs, and put them on a greased baking sheet. I also have my oven preheating to 375 degrees. While our meatballs and rice are cooking, grab a small saucepan, add one half of a cup of chicken stock. Again, I'm doing the hot honey. I have a quarter cup of hot honey, a little bit of salt, and then two tablespoons of lime juice. We're going to put this over medium heat and allow it to cook until the honey is dissolved. I mix one teaspoon of cornstarch with some water to make a slurry. We're going to add that directly to our mixture and then allow it to simmer until thickened. So here's our sauce. Doesn't that look good? It's nice and thick. I'm going to set that aside. I have a skillet heating up over medium heat sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to add my diced up bell pepper. And then I have half of my red onion diced up and we're going to allow these to saute down for three to four minutes. We're going to zest in a lime and then squeeze about half of a lime. You want about a tablespoon of lime juice. Give that a quick stir just to kind of meld those flavors together. We're going to add in our cilantro and then remove this from the heat. So I added the veggie mixture to a bowl. Now we're going to add in our cooked rice. And then stir that together and we have cilantro lime rice. So we're ready to assemble our meal prep container. So first we need five of our meatballs. That's what I ended up with. Like I said, it doesn't really matter how many meatballs you roll out. You just want to divide the number you have by four. I'm going to add my cilantro lime rice. And then we have the honey glaze, the honey chipotle glaze. And we're going to put that right on top of the meatballs. Look at how amazing this looks. This is going to be such a great lunch. Let me go ahead and put together the other three meal prep containers. And then I'll be back to share all the points, calories, and macros. So here is our lunch meal preps. These look absolutely delicious. What a great way to get in lots of protein, lots of flavor, a carb with the rice. This is a really well-rounded lunch. You could pop in some fruit on the side and you would have an absolutely perfect meal. So all of the information is here on the screen for you. For a snack this week, I'm making Energy Bites. This is a fantastic base recipe. You can add whatever you want to these. I'll tell you a few different options as we put these together, but let me show you what I'm adding to my Energy Bites. So first you're going to need rolled oats. I'm going to do chocolate chips. These are the Chalk Zero, the best. I'm telling you they taste just like regular chocolate chips. None of that weird bitterness or aftertaste that you get in Lily's. Love Chalk Zero. I will link it down below for you. They're actually having a big Memorial Day sale right now, 15% off. So I'll put all the information in the description box. You'll need some sugar-free maple syrup, milk of your choice, nut butter of your choice. I'm just using this crunchy peanut butter. And then I'm going to add hemp seeds to mine. This is going to add a little bit of a nutty flavor and a crunch and some extra protein. So for our energy bites, we're adding one cup of rolled oats. You can also use quick cook oats. I'm doing 200 Chalk Zero chocolate chips. 
and three tablespoons of hemp seeds. And you could also use things like dried fruit, shredded coconut, chia seeds, ground flax seed, chopped nuts. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Also, some reduced sugar craisins would be really good in here. And then we're going to add half of a cup of nut butter. Two tablespoons sugar-free maple syrup. You could also sub honey. And then one tablespoon of milk. And I'm actually going to add a pinch of salt. It doesn't call for that, but I want that little bit of saltiness with the sweet. And then we're going to mix all of this together. We're going to place our mixture in the freezer for about 20 minutes to chill. So for the energy bites, you can do 20 small or 10 big. I think I'm gonna shoot for 10 big energy balls since this will be a perfect snack. So here's about the size that I'm going for. Let's see how many I end up with. So I ended up with 10 energy bites. Look how big these are. These are perfect as a snack. Pair it with some protein like a meat stick or some beef jerky hard boiled egg and you have an amazing, amazing snack. Not to mention fully portable. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing breakfast, lunch, and a healthy snack. I love having meal prepped food on hand. It really does help me stay on track and has been a catalyst in my 140 pound weight loss. Again, in the description box, I will link everything I shared with you today, my recipe website, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. Don't forget to check out those Memorial Day, Memorial Day sales and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Memorial Day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.